to you this morning, down to you from the parking lot of the Dorothy Lay Hospice, where, as many of you know, my wife works. This is where I drop off Pam every morning. It's quite a building over here, just beside the Trillium Hospital down near Sherway Gardens, just at the basically the south end of where Etobicoke and Mississauga meet each other, just south of Queens, Queens, uh, the Queensway. I thought I would come out here today just to get a little different perspective. A hospice unit, of course, sounds like the word hospital or hospitality. Of course, the word simply means to provide the care that people require. A hospice unit is end-of-life care. It means it's where people are generally in their last 90 days life. Nowadays, there's a lot of people focusing on the end of life and the end of their life in particular. Some folks coming around here, it's, we're outside here. Lots of people thinking about the end of, of life and the end of their lives with this pandemic that's going on outside nowadays. It's a very fitting setting that my wife works at every day, trying to provide dignity and care for folks who are coming to the end of our lives. I was thinking these last week or so we've heard a lot about what might happen and we're really not sure what's going to happen. The fact is, as Christians, those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, as we do here at Downsview Baptist Church, we heard the words of, of Job in Job, Job 14 and verse 5 that God numbers our days, that our days are numbered by the one who's given us our days, the one who's been pleased to give us life and the one who Job says in the very first chapter of his book that it's God who gives and it's God who takes away. Quite the, the thrill that we might have thought it would be because of course Job was answering his wife who he called foolish in that text that she asked you know uh, is Job still hanging on to his integrity why don't he just curse God and die already God who treats him so horribly and in some cases people can feel like that these days they realize that the challenge is Job of course answers her and says you, you, you talk like one of the foolish women shall we receive good from the hand and not difficulty not trials not tribulation not even some versions say evil of course, we don't mean fresh evil. Our God does all things well, but boy, it's hard to tell sometimes nowadays, isn't it? When you hear promises like Romans 8, 28, that God causes. We know that God causes all things to work together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. It's difficult when you're not sure what that purpose is and what that's going to look like. For the interruptions today. It is interesting though that when we think of the book of Job telling us that you know it's God who's making these decisions. It's God who has wisely determined when our days are going to begin and when they're going to end. And the great piece of hope in the gospel for us friends is that God numbers our days which means we truly are invincible until God calls us home. It doesn't matter if it was SARS uh, two decades ago or whether it's the coronavirus now that's uh, making a lot of us very frightened. You see in Psalm 90 and verse 12, the admonition is God cause us to number our days. And I think what he's saying is not decide how many days we have, but he's saying, listen, cause us to recognize that there is a number on them and to use those days in a way that will make much of our life and bring glory to the one who's, who's made us. And down to you, one of the challenges that we have, of course, is that we all live so far away from each other. We're very disconnected. And nowadays, when things are shut down for a few weeks, we can feel something of that isolation. The good thing about this is that in Psalm 73, which some of you know is my email, 1psalm73 at gmail.com, a very closing part of the text tells us, as for me, Made the sovereign Lord my refuge, that I may tell of all your works. Be encouraged, down to you. God has our back. We are invincible until He's done with us. And whether we end up in our own room or a place like Dorothy Lay Hospice to end out our days, 
the Lord Jesus who has given us life is the one who promises to use us until the end of it. And so let's see to it that we understand that the very purpose of our lives is to lay them down that others would know Christ. Be encouraged, friends. Lord bless you.